Hey there, Kaylin here, and welcome to another video in the Too Many Cards series that Emily Leapart and I have created. Today, we're creating cards using stamps and dies from My Favorite Things. We're using the Mod Birds stamp set, the Sassy Pants Best Friends stamp set, and the Mod Birds coordinating die set. First, I'm going to die cut all of the shapes in the die set out of white cardstock. And I ran it through my die cutting machine twice just to get some extra flowers and leaves. Also, I knew I wanted to use just two of the birds in the set, so I only die cut the ones I was going to use. Now I'm going to stamp the outlines for each of those birds in black ink right on the die cut pieces. Of course, you could always do your stamping first and die cut later. Sometimes I just prefer to do it this way. Now I'm going to stamp down the inner pieces of the birds using a variety of ink colors. What makes the stamp set so unique is that the inside pieces purposefully don't align with the outlines, so it creates that fun and mod style of design that's just kind of free form and really gives movement to the illustrations. So I'm using some fresh peach ink from Hero Arts and I'm first going to stamp down just the tail of that bird in that color. And you could mask this off if you wanted to be really precise, but I just kind of um, stamped the section of the stamp that I wanted to down in the ink and I didn't find that I had problems with it overlapping. So there you can see I did the part around the eye and the neck of the bird also in fresh peach. And then I just took some blue ink and put that down for the main body of the bird. Now I'm using some green tea ink to do the face of the second bird and you can see there I'm just kind of trying to ink up that one section and then just wiping off the part that got a little bit of ink on the tail section. And I'm just repeating that step to get a more saturated green color. Now I'm using the fresh peach color again to get the um, wing and the tail of the bird stamped in that color. There are two different types of leaves in this stamp set and I'm first doing this leaf that has two parts to it. So there's just a straight line die and then there is the actual um, body of the leaf or the veins of the leaf if you're looking at it in reverse. Uh, so I'm just taking some green tea ink for the first leaf, stamping that down, and then using the blue ink for the other leaf. Now taking the shorter leaves in the stamp set, and these come with the full outline as well as the stem. So just stamping those down and then doing one in fresh peach, and I'm going to stamp the other one down in blue. The set also comes with a two-part flower, so I decided to stamp the main part down in fresh peach and then do a little bit of an accent, that inner part, um, in just some plain black ink. And then using this small flower, I'm just doing that in the green and then adding a black dot in the center. Now that I have all of my pieces stamped and die cut, I'm just sort of um, thinking about how they're going to be arranged on the card. And I decided I wanted to die cut a circle out of a piece of blue card stock and that that was going to be the front of my card. And that I would have my die cut elements kind of peeking out from underneath it and then some layered on top. So here you can see I'm just kind of working out which pieces I want layered underneath and which pieces I want on top and just kind of how that's all going to work out. I knew I wanted to use the sentiment that says, you're my sidekick for life. I really thought that was a cute one. So I'm using my Misty to stamp this down on that piece of blue cardstock that's going to be on the front of my card. And I did this mainly because this, this cardstock has a bit of a texture to it. It has like a slight grain. So I know that stamping on that type of cardstock can be difficult. So um, otherwise I probably wouldn't have needed to use my Misty for that, but it's really 
helpful in cases like this where you want to make sure that your stamping leaves a perfect impression. So now just using my favorite adhesive, the Tombow Mono Multi Glue, and adhering all of my pieces down inside of the um, die cut piece, and then layering the pieces that I wanted to go on top. At first I thought they'd go on the bottom, but then I decided I liked the sentiment there and that I would have the flowers and leaves go on top. And of course I'm using some foam tape to pop up some of the flowers. There's an extra little stamp that comes in this stamp set and it's just kind of some polka dots. So I decided to add some texture into the plain white background. I would stamp that in the same color of blue ink I had been using and that that just gave it a little bit of life and just some nice kind of variety in that blank space. Now to top it off, I added some enamel dots and some rhinestones. I just looked in my stash and grabbed ones that I felt like went nicely with my color schemes. So some bluish ones, some uh, light pink peach ones, and then um, did some coordinating rhinestones that I thought worked nicely with those as well. So this just adds some fun texture and a little bit of shine. And that's going to finish up the card. I really hope you enjoyed creating along with me and be sure to check out Emily's video to see how she created a project with these same My Favorite Things stamps and dies. Also, make sure you check out the description box below and leave a comment on this video for your chance to win a $25 gift card to My Favorite Things. Don't forget to subscribe to catch all of my latest craft videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.